I'm Randall Whitehead, and I am going to improve your life through the use of great lighting. Let's talk about lighting for bathrooms. What we see most often is the one fixture mounted over your head, right above the mirror. And that's great lighting if you're applying makeup or shaving your forehead. What you really want to do is get light down on the sides. Now, the bozo bars that we see they're just as bad. You're still getting all the light up here, creating those hard shadows under here and here. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to bend your face up to try to get the light in the right spot. It's much better to have the lighting on the side. This is called cross illumination. And it can be incandescent, it can be fluorescent, but what it does is it softens all of those shadows so you don't have to contort your face in order to do the things that you need to do in the morning. Now what I'm recommending is to do that cross illumination using something that has a frosted glass to it. You can do incandescent like you saw before or you can do a fixture like this which is fluorescent, very energy efficient, very uh, good long life to it. And it also fulfills California's restrictions on energy efficient lighting in bathrooms. Here in this bathroom we've got wonderful ambient light. Nice light flowing over the ceiling. You look great. You bathe great in this light. Surprisingly, this too is fluorescent and dims with a standard incandescent dimmer. In this bathroom, we've hidden some fluorescent lighting inside the beam. It's called a box beam. So it's open at the top, throws this wonderful light in the space. And in this case, with the white on the ceiling, we used a little bit of a cooler color temperature of light so that it's nice and clean and crisp and really shows off the colors in the space. Now, the bathrooms of the 1980s, like you see here, very different, uh, not so inviting. You take this same bathroom looking through the bedroom and see what it looks like now in the 2000s. So much better, so much more inviting. Bathrooms are starting to be little sanctuaries, little places that you can get away from the rest of the family where you can lock that door, have a little bit of space to yourself. Now in the powder room, you don't need as much light as you do in the, in the master bath. In the master bath, I want you to have 100 watts on either side. What that does is it gives you good lighting for shaving, applying makeup, a little bit of spackle if you need it. But in the powder room, 40 watts, 45 watts on either side, plenty of light. Your friends, they just want to see if there's little spinach in their teeth, they want to see if there's gum in their hair, if they're coming over and they're shaving, I think they're spending way too much time at your house. Some bathrooms like this one that I saw in Architectural Digest, I want to know what is it that you're doing that is so exhausting that you have to have a bed in the bathroom to take a little nap afterwards. What is that? Waxing? I'm not sure. Now, what we've got here is we've got lighting that is great task lighting at the toilet. It does come between your head and your work surface does help you up, helps you down, and it does keep you a little bit warm as well. When you do that one recessed light over the toilet for reading, this is what happens. You get these cones of light on the wall. It's sort of like Quasimodo's cave in there. Really hard shadows on the face. Look at the shadows that are happening underneath the toilet paper and the towels. Imagine those same shadows on your body. This is not good lighting to be seen under. And what about this bathroom? There is so much reading material. Is this a toilet in a library? Or is this just a bathroom where there is so much reading material that you can spend the whole day, the weekend in there? I say, if you're reading Moby Dick, take it to another room. I hope that what I've shared with you today has given you some really good ideas on how to improve the quality of your life with lighting. This is Randall Whitehead. Thank you very much.